To overcome anxiety, the first thing you need to do is discover where that anxiety is coming from. And to do this, you need to do an anxiety self-audit. Now, a lot of people may not know where anxiety comes from, or they may label it in some other way. But if there's something that's holding you back, that you're labeling as anxiety, or just something that's holding you back, whether that's fear, guilt, doubts, we're going to be listing all these things down. So I want you to think for a few moments about some of the things you would like to do, but you feel you're being stopped doing them in some way with a sensation in your body. That we will call anxiety. And I want you to, to begin to list down everything in great detail. List down whether they are experiences, something you want to do, something from the past, and it doesn't matter how silly anything seems, because these may be all connected in some way. I want you to list down everything that you feel causes you anxiety. And once you have created a thorough list on the label of anxiety, I want you to move on and begin to write a list on what causes you fear. Because fear and anxiety may seem in somewhat the same. When you're fearful of something, it brings up feelings and emotions that make you want to back away, run away, the fight or flight response, as they say it's called. So what I want you to do is write down everything you can think of that makes you feel fearful. Now, while you're writing these things down, the anxiety list and the fearful list, if some memories begin to come up about when you were younger, even when you were very small, write them down anyway. Don't dismiss anything. Don't edit what you're writing down, thinking, oh, perhaps, no, that doesn't make any sense. I won't write that down. Write everything down, because those things could be very important. And sometimes you thinking consciously that it's not important can be resistance to working on the issue that has been causing you anxiety all along. Now, once you have done the list on anxiety and the list of fearful things that cause you fear, I want you to move on to things that make you feel guilty. Now, this may be something you have done or said. Write all those things down that make you feel guilty. Now, don't be concerned that anyone's going to look at this list. So it's important to be truthful with yourself. Honesty is the best medicine for getting to the source of your anxiety and helping you move forward in your life. So write down everything that you can remember that makes you feel guilty. It doesn't matter what it was. When you were a small child, maybe you took something, you know, or said something to someone that was, wasn't very nice. It doesn't matter. Write them all down. Because as you write these things down, you begin to look at things in a new way. You're bringing them out to read them and look at them in a new way. So you're going to write in as much detail as you can all of these things that are coming up in your mind. And you'll be surprised at how much begins to come up in your mind as you begin to write and list things. Then, when you've completed that list, I want you to move on to things that you are doubtful of. You could be doubtful of religion or doubtful of a relationship, doubtful of friendships, doubtful of family members, mother, father, sisters, brothers, uh, relations of any sort. Anything are doubtful about your feelings about uh, being employed, doubtful of whether you will hold on to your job, 
just write all these things down because they all feed into one another in some way doubts fears anxieties guilt all feed into some way they all have one main thing ingredient that is that they create emotions and feelings and it's these emotions and feelings that hold you back so be, by making a complete list of the things that are holding you back anxieties fears guilts and doubts writing as complete a list as you can now, you don't have to do this straight away you can do this over a couple of days or a couple of weeks take as long as you like because remember it took a these a lot of these things may have happened a long time ago so they've been there a long time and you may find that as you write some down you may come back a few days later and something else will come down come up it's like when you're trying to remember someone's name and you might think of uh, sometimes when i'm trying to remember someone's name i'll go through the alphabet a b c d the same thing happens that it becomes difficult but later on it pops into my mind and for you the same may happen as you go through these things that cause you anxiety fear guilt or doubts these things when you've listed them out you've took some layers off open the pages for new information to come up and it might be when those layers are removed you will find the source of the anxiety or those feelings those emotions that hold you back now you just all you have to do is sit down when you feel comfortable and it's quiet and write down your lists and take your time there's no hurry and remember again there's nobody watching you reading your lists this is totally private for you so be as honest as you can don't edit or audit anything out of your list put every piece of information down and you'll be surprised at what will come up and once you have all the information you will be able to work with that information with what i'm going to teach you next